Uh, so for the people that don't know and that's like confused on what's going on, Bari posted a vlog today and he entered like he previewed the clip, you know, when Cardi FaceTimed him. People think this was like recently, but this was actually from last year, January. Yeah, it's if you guys don't remember, it was like from these like from these pics right here. Like oh, I don't know it? if it was like the exact day, but like yeah, when these peak when these uh pictures had surfaced. Bro, how do y'all even find this? Bro, Bro I don't the even same know. Day? <laughs> yeah, the same day Opium Baby posted this video, I guess is when mm. he called Bari. Mm. And then that's when he previewed the snippet, and then he said he was gonna he was planning to drop two albums back to back, one in February, <laughs> and he didn't say the other date, but we you really believe right that, here, bro. Chat. We really believe in Cardi dropping back to back. Hell no. All right, so here's when Cardi called him, chat. We'll FaceTime him. As you can see, I don't know if y'all can see, but he's wearing the red hat. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, I can. I can see. I can see it. But you can barely hear the snippet though. But after like I can't hear the, the song got done playing, they were saying like lyrics and shit. Nah, the Cardi detectives are Mark. crazy, bro. Shit, huh. they said, I got, they said, I got a shot in my shoes on the first day. Be going crazy, bro. Stop glazing. Y'all can't even hear what he said. Y'all can't even hear nothing. All right, here's when he said, "Shot." Back to back. Oh, he said February and goddamn the month after. So February and March of twenty-four, or was this in terms of twenty-three? Yeah, apparently, so apparently, wait, when was this posted? So this was January, and then I guess the clip was March. Of this year, March right? Party. Last year, last year. Oh, so he was supposedly supposed to drop two albums last year, February and March of 2023. That? I think it was this year, actually. Hmm. Because if it's the same day as this post, then this was of January of this year. So he was supposed to drop February and March which would have been yeah what this year this of, year what part of the antagonist tour because that would have been yeah, the because Uzi's second. wearing the same outfit for him when he brought drake out oh yeah yeah, yeah. He oh okay okay, okay 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 postponed antagonist tour again yeah this would have been when the antagonist tour would have started around that february time right yeah mm, january and then in cardi March hub tour, 2024 yeah and then in cardi hub Somebody uh named Soul. I guess he's like the head admin, or yeah, I don't know if he runs the. Soul's like the, the leader. Server. All right, so yeah, I guess the leader of the server. He said, "I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but fuck it." Cardi said it himself. The rumor I had heard was he was been planning on dropping two albums, as he just said. Album one track list has been the same for months, which is you know the one we've been seeing last year, all through last year, the already the pop out track list. Yeah, since like January 2023, when shit was supposed to drop, and the album two was supposed to be all the new shit he's been making. Mm. And some of the IG and YouTube drops were gonna be bonus tracks, just like Uzi did for Pink Tape. On V1 or he pushed V2? it back. Uh, I I think this is for V2. Mm. I think all right. Th now this part right here, because I think I don't know if I, I don't know if I told you, but I had a. I think I was talking to Bob and A got about this. I was also told by an Insider that like different day and all the new singles was gonna be like the bonus tracks for the I like the Iron Music. Like I guess this is like the version two V2. I guess for Iron Music. The one supposed to drop in March yeah mm. just want to turn your friend and then he says album one different day wait album one different day x hood by air type shit tracklist hasn't changed in a year to my knowledge Red and papa are supposed to be appear on there because they originally they uh stay due to cardi not one of them on there along with the and then he said album two is purely assumption at the moment for me future future and heavy cardo stuff and pop also just like shit like i love it and genre blending that's actually kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie. They didn't it makes sense, tweet though. that though. They were like, this is John genre bending music. Something like that, right? Yeah. Because I've heard that genre bending term in terms of Cardi's albums talked about. And was this, when they put this out, was this back then or did they put this all out today? This 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 was today. This is actually right now. He said this now. Ah. Uh, so they've been. But I was this. told, I was, all, all this shit we're getting right now that just surfaced, I was told this like last year, June, July. Mmm. No. That's crazy. So album one would have had different days slash hood by air. So album one would have essentially been soft voice slash deep voice. Cause then you got yeah, all red. And then you got pop. And then out, and then is... when different day when different day and, and all those singles had dropped, that's when I was told that those were gonna be the bonus tracks for the album. Which makes sense. 
Mm. It's like, why wouldn't he add those? They would run up the streams and sales for the project. And then Vultures, what? Vultures dropped February, right? Yeah. Mm. So that's how you. So I guess now, now, now we so, don't even know. So we were correct. Like. We don't he know was when it's back from yay. Yeah. yeah. So now is he still pushing it back in terms of V2 and V3 regarding Vultures? Because I mean, if point, that's happening, no clues, say goodbye. If that's happening, say goodbye. I ain't never dropping. <laughs> Cardi out might never drop in if that's happening. He said a year later and we still have no clue when it's planned to drop. Yeah. He was trying to do the feature slash Hendrix type drop. Yep, that, that would have been pretty hard. Remember back in 2017 when Future dropped those two albums with the yellow cover? My favorite Future yeah. album is Hendrix. That would have been hard, but bro, let's be realistic. Let's be realistic. Was Cardi going to drop two albums back to back? Do y'all really think that was going to happen? All right, now look, now look. Even though they're not happen, this is like the most active we've seen Cardi throughout the year. So it, it wouldn't be as surprising if he did drop two projects. That is true. Because he, ha he has been active as fuck music. when it comes. Yeah, like throughout the years, he has been like, this is the most he's been active, bro. Honestly, yeah. Since whole lot of red, literally since whole lot of red. But do you think that would like, I feel like that would have, wouldn't have been a smart play because like, bro, everybody's waiting for Cardi. You don't think bro. it wouldn't have? No, bro, because it would have been giving us too much, I feel like, right? Whole lot of red was so great because we waited so long and it was so good. And then now we've seen it test its time, right? If Cardi, yeah. now this would have been like if Cardi dropped the deluxe for whole lot of red, it would have just been like a little too much, you think? Mm, I don't, all right, so how about all right, it would have been like dropped, less special of a moment, I think. Okay, but how about if he dropped V1 in March and I mean in February and then end up dropping V2 like towards the end of the year? Nah, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. I was thinking that would have been more insane. I was thinking that when I was saying that sentence, but that would be more insane because you let everything have its time to breathe and you know, have its own moment, and then boom, I'm coming at y'all another one 2024 music, you know what I'm saying? That would have been crazy. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. But that's insane. So essentially, the tr the first album would have been Different Day slash Hood by Air. So that would have been Soft Voice slash Deep Voice, because Deep Voice is all red, Hood by Air is all red. Different Day is like that soft voice, and then yeah. Pop Out. So it would have been basically all three of the new Cardi we got, right? The whole like Rage, Ketamine, the guitar, Pop Out, Rockstar yeah. type tracks. Then we it's like, like, got, like late late 22 and then mm -hmm. early this year. Then we would have got like our grill, all red, deep voice, hood by air type stuff. And then that new kind of like see that type of new Cardi on one album. So if this were to drop, how mm. many songs would have would have album one been? Probably, I think it would have been like 16, 17. Right. It wouldn't it wouldn't be a lot. I, I, I don't think it would yeah. be 20 plus 20 plus would be crazy. And or then, the first the first one could have been a long LP and then the second one could have been like 16. Mm, could have been probably like eight new and then all like the old ones. Like the yeah. rest of like the Travis one and Evil Jordan, maybe that. And then yeah. album two is purely assumption, but would have been Cardo heavy. So that would have been crazy. He's been producing all different types of vibes. And then people said stuff like pop genre being I love it. So we could have probably seen like a weekend feature on album two, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That would be probably, crazy. Probably, probably some shit with Tyler the Creator as well. And Pharrell, Pharrell type prod. And Pharrell, yeah. Pharrell type production. They were teasing Pharrell heavy. Bro, that would have been crazy, dude. Now, Imagine? do you think he's still do you think he's still playing like you think now, as of right now, since we don't know anything, mm -mm. you think he still has this concept in his head or I don't think that's so. just out. I think that's dead. I mean, that would have been crazy, but I feel like, nah, I feel like he's just going to drop one album. And if I'm Cardi, I'm retiring after this, bro. I'm chilling. It already felt like too much with all the sporadic singles. Yeah. I feel like he would have been flooding it too so. much. Like he would have just give us too much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, that's my opinion, though. Wait, wait, wait. So out of like all this information we got today. We haven't got nothing from Rockstar, so I guess that's that's confirmed scrap then. Yeah. Because we, we only heard we only heard that shit one time at Rolling Loud Cali, and then we never heard from that song ever again. So that shit gotta be scrapped. And mm -hmm. it's crazy if it did get scrapped, bro. Because that shit's actually hard. And I, a lot of people like Rockstar over Pop Out as well, but I like Pop Out more. I like Rockstar more. Rockstar is more crazy, bro. Rockstar that's over crazy. Pop Out for me. Rockstar was pitched down deep voice, actual deep voice. That would have been crazy if this really happened. 
and we're yeah. sitting here with nothing. <laughs> this would have been a crazy concept. But imagine we just made this whole scenario up. <laughs> we just made this whole... Bro, Cardi fans are really the most delusional fans in the world. But yeah, I do think yeah. that's what's so fun about being a Cardi fan. Is like yeah. these whole, you know, like folk tales that the fans go Damn. on. It is the fun part about being a Cardi fan. That's how it plays lie. out because he don't say shit, which mm -hmm. leads the fans to making these assumptions. So. Yeah, it is the most fun part. No fan base really is like that. <laughs> Shout out Cardi, bro. He's a go. He's a go. He is 100% the go. <laughs>